How do I differentiate bed bug bites from other insect bites or skin irritations? Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to differentiate bed bug bites from other insect bites and skin irritations. This is an important skill to have, as it can help you identify the cause of your skin issues and take appropriate action. What do bed bug bites look like? Bed bug bites are typically small, red, and itchy. They often occur in a linear or clustered pattern, which can help distinguish them from other insect bites. The bites may also develop into small, raised bumps or welts. However, not everyone reacts the same way to bed bug bites, and some people may not show any symptoms at all. How do other insect bites and skin irritations compare? Other insect bites, such as those from mosquitoes or fleas, may appear similar to bed bug bites, but they often have distinctive characteristics. Mosquito bites are usually more randomly scattered and can become larger, swollen bumps. Flea bites are often smaller and found around the ankles or lower legs. Skin irritations, such as rashes or allergic reactions, can also resemble insect bites. However, these usually cover a larger area of the skin and may have different triggers, such as exposure to an allergen or irritant. What other clues can help identify bed bug bites? In addition to the appearance of the bites, there are other clues that can help you determine if bed bugs are the culprit. Check your sleeping area for signs of bed bugs, such as tiny black fecal spots, shed skins, or the bugs themselves. Consider recent travel or exposure to places where bed bugs are common, like hotels or hostels. Rule out other causes by examining your daily routine, environment, and any recent changes to your lifestyle or personal care products. We hope this video has been helpful in teaching you how to differentiate bed bug bites from other insect bites and skin irritations. Remember to look for the unique patterns and characteristics of the bites, as well as any additional clues from your environment or recent activities. If you're still unsure or if your symptoms worsen, don't hesitate to consult a healthcare professional for further evaluation and advice.